Hey friends, today I want to give you some engine rebuilding tips on chainsaws and small engines. Okay, now this cylinder, this is a brand new cylinder, as you can see, but what I've run into on some of these engines today, there's burrs inside, inside here. Okay, and what you want to do, you want to take, say this is about 600 grit. You don't want to get too carried away, but you want to make sure you sand up the edges right there, smooth, there. You don't want to get too carried away, okay? Thing down in there, pretty smooth, same thing right here, impulse port for your impulse line. Sometimes you might have to go a little more aggressive than that. Okay, port. Feels good there. And what you want to do, you want to go lightly around the side here. You don't want to get too carried away. You don't want to take any material out that you don't have to. I was a machinist for three, four years, so I'm pretty good at benching parts and putting edge brakes. Everything in there looks pretty good. Okay. Tip. You don't have any parts cleaner. Get a cloth. Make sure you wipe, wipe it out. No grit or anything. <laughs> that won't hurt nothing. Okay, now what you're going to do, get a piece of toilet paper. What you're going to do with that, you're going to rub inside there. And if you pick up gray on there, and it's pick up any gray Let's see nope thing in here looks pretty clean so that's that's what you want to do you want to check especially on these aluminum cylinders you want to if you can pick up gray on there, it means there's grit on there. And when you go to run your engine, you're probably going to score some uh, your piston up. So there's that. That part's deburred, ready to go. This is your piston. Like I said, I've run into it. They don't seem to be deburring their parts today. A little bit here. Feels good. I'm here. Put your finger around there. You just want to feel. It feels really good. I'm going to check up here where your ring land is. The sharpness. So if you've done this for a while, it's no problem. Here. Okay. And it feels pretty good. So that tip there will save you a lot of aggravation in the long run. When you go to fire your saw up, you're going to say, oh man, my cylinder's scored. How the hell did this happen? I've had it happen when. Uh, other uh, lawnmower engines and stuff. Now I learned my lesson. Okay. Put the clips in there. Well, oh, that's the fun part. It's huh. the part I hate putting these uh, clips in for the 
wrist pin. That's always fun. If I can get it in there. I have another one ready to go. Yep. Oh yeah, you'll be cussing about now putting this clip in here. Say, where in the heck did it fly? I might have I almost had it. Might have had it. Maybe I got it. That was luck. You want to do? Sure, it's pinning there a little bit. And you're gonna go through the other side. Get it snap in there. something go just there oh there it goes you can see that I got the clip in there one shot well not one shot actually <laughs> This is with the other piston. I kind of like that one a little bit better. I said I installed the clip already. This one's cleaned up, ready to go. Same thing with this, you just want to make sure you just tore the paper. This one's already been deburred, cleaned. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Like I picked up anything, so we're good. Okay, so now you're going to make sure you're going to lube up. This is the crankshaft. Okay, now you're going to want to know what side the, I know this side, it goes like this, what side's the intake exhaust. There's a little, if you can see that, see that little, it says exhaust with the arrow right here, you want to point that to your exhaust like this okay exhaust I know that's, that's the exhaust port here's the exhaust I know this crankshaft like this so this is a chainsaw motor a little oil two stroke oil bit of lube on that. Lubed up. Your pin. Slide it in there. Okay. I always like to put my oil on. Make sure the oil's rod this pin and what you're gonna do you're gonna push it 
Now push it through like so. Okay. That's good. Let's get the other clip. I said this is the fun part. Sometimes these don't go just as easy as that. I think I heard it. Make sure everything's snapped in. Looks like everything's snapped in. You don't want those clips coming out. It's the only thing that holds your uh, your wrist pin in. tip I learned along the way and oil this up and what we're gonna do we're gonna spin this on a drill there's a reason why I'm doing that is because if you can't spin this I'm not gonna put the ring on yet but if you can't spin this on a drill here and your engine and it won't last there we go oh yeah that puppy feels really nice okay center like so it's a good test that I learned it'll save you a lot of aggravation down the road there we go Okay. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna check it out. We're gonna see how the piston looks. There's no scoring or anything. That puppy looks pretty good. No scoring at all. Okay, next step, we're going to put the ring in, install it, so, all you do, you just push it, just like so, make sure you've got plenty of oil on there, okay, there's a taper inside here, that you don't, you wouldn't need any, uh, ring compressor for this. It should just fit right in just like so. Make sure there's a little groove here in the piston. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a little roll pin that they used. Install it. in there. Now we're going to check it with the drill again. Okay, here we go. Huh. You can see the piston going up and look. Pretty good. I'm gonna check her out. I'm gonna see how everything is. Okay. 
Any? Doesn't appear that there's any scoring. Piston. Piston appears pretty good. So this should be pretty good. That's a good tip to to know. That's what I, I do with all my engines now when I rebuild them. Because if you don't, like I says, you're gonna have problems. And uh, you're gonna say, I don't know why my engine blew up. Like I said, a lot of these new engines, they're not, they don't deburr them. The parts. Enough on the rod bearing. Enough. Okay. Looks pretty good. And if you were to put that together, you'd use the stuff they're called three bond. You don't want to use silicon on this. You want to use there's a stuff you can buy at the auto parts store. It's made by Permatex. It's called Moto Seal. That's perfect for uh, small engines or two stroke engines. I've been using that stuff for a good while. I haven't had any problems with it. So if you were to put that stuff on, you'd make sure all this here, you'd seal all this up. And then you'd put your, let's get the base on there. There. Right now I'm just going to install it with the for this particular application you go about maybe 50 inch pounds I'm just installing it there's the other one okay if you're Installing that, you can torque that down to 50 inch pounds and uh, should be good to install. As I hope that video was uh, useful for you. Like I said, if you was really rebuilding that and that was dirty, you'd get some parts cleaner, clean everything off. Because I know I pre cleaned all these parts before I did this. But you don't want to have any metal in there, you know, tearing up your saw or your engine rather. So I hope that video was helpful for you guys. Till next time, remember, rock up with your cock up.